Hey, it's E the DJ STL. All up in your earpiece once again with the reaction video to the demise and loss of the great criminally under underrated rapper Young Dog. Since his initial debut album 2016, Kingdom Memphis, Dolph simply gained the crown. King Crown of Rap and Memphis. It's been worn by Yo Gotti for years. And attempted to go toe to toe with the King of Rap and Memphis as a young independent rapper. And this reminds me of the show The Wire, where Cody, the young independent dope dealer, attempted to go head to head with Marlo, the established. King, or one of the king, well, he was the king in the end of the drug dealers in Baltimore in the wire. Young Dolph had all the heart in the world, he was an independent artist, and he faced a lot of flack for that. He didn't get the credit he deserved in the media for being a young independent artist, but he was loyal and he was strong. And his attempt to take the king crown from Yo Gotti in Memphis as rapper, the king of rap in Memphis, was doomed to fail in the beginning because he just wasn't as big as Gotti or as established. As much as he tried to protect himself by bulletproofing his tour bus, and despite all of the attempts on his life over the years, from his tour bus getting riddled with bullets, to his attempted assassination in Rodale Drive in Beverly Hills, it was inevitable that he was going to, I think, end his career would end this way. Because he just wasn't big enough to deal with an established veteran foe like Yo Gotti. And this reminds me of when Bodie challenged to set up his own independent shop and sell heroin on the streets of Baltimore when Marlo was becoming the king of uh, heroin drug dealing in Baltimore. Marlo was established and respected and became the king of the heroin traffic on the wire. Bodie, independent, tried to carve out his own reputation to become the king himself in the end. That, were his, that was his, his aspirations. And just like Bodie met his end by getting murdered by Marlo, by Christmas Snoop, 